Hello, this is Enigma Soul Guide. In this guide, we will be going over every single Enigma Soul you can get. The order we will be doing this is on the Rift Guide. We will start from the first one and go this way in all the areas. For the first soul, you want to jump down here onto this platform. Kill 20 of these wolves, which drop uh, a bark. Which then you can use to punch this and it will open up and it will break the wood and open up uh Nemo soul. The second soul is right next to this. You jump down here and it's right here. The third soul, you wanna walk over here and then punch these dandelion. You wanna punch them and follow them until you reach there. Once you're here. You can, the last any line is down there next to the soul. You can just come over here, land on the down any line, click, and then this will open up. For the next soul, you want to come over here next to these frog people. And that's wizard heart right there. You want to come over here, click this skull right here, and then it will spawn this particle which breaks this block and reveals the soul. The next soul is down here, but if you try to go in here, you, you will just get shot up. To get in there, you want to jump on this jump pad, go up here, and then jump into the jump into it from a high place, and you'll fall right through. And that soul is right here. The next soul is a two-player soul. You need two players to get the soul. One person stands here. One person stands on the other first plate. And this glass will disappear and you can get the soul. For the seventh soul in the wild woods, you want to follow the ghost across these trees. He usually spawns about right there. And then you can just hop on the trees and follow him over here. And get the soul over here. Once you get to the last location, the soul will appear. The eighth soul in the wild woods. All you have to do is come to the frog people again. But this time you jump on the jump pad and just go up and get the soul. It's in the middle of the air. For the last soul in the wild woods, you want to come this way from that last hole you just got. Right here to this jump pad. Jump up here. You walk this way. And it's right here. You can use larva silk to get it. And go on the silk and destroy the glass. If you try to get there without the larva silk, you'll just get hidden off like that. Now, we're moving on to the Black Lagoon. There's five souls in this area. The first one, all you have to do is talk to this guy for like two minutes, and then he'll get you this soul, which is block will disappear. The second soul in this area is right in this parkour, which is right there. You come up this hill. You complete the parkour, and you get the soul. I reach the end of the parkour, and the soul is right here. To exit, you go out here. Third soul in this area, you, you can't use an aspect of the leech to get there. So what you want to do is enable every single one of these mushrooms right here. And once they're all on, you teleport up here, and then you jump on these mushrooms. Again, you cannot use the aspect of the leech, preventing you from teleporting. You can go over here, and jump on this mushroom, and get the soul right here. Fourth soul is on the island. You get you use lily pads to jump here, make a path, and place them on the water. You instead of don't go in this building, go into this building. You go up here and then talk to the sky. And he will sell you the ding missile for four thousand moats and each dead hog spines. The last stall in the black balloon is right here with these runes, which is like right next to the entrance. What you want to do is get all the runes facing towards the tree. Do this, you can click them to turn them. It's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Find them all facing the same direction. And make them all face towards the tree. And that will open up a soul right there. Now we're on to the west village, the first soul in this area. 
We wanna, this is the Coliseum right here. We wanna go this way. And go in this house. I think you talk to one of these guys and you'll have a hot dog contest for you. Which once you get all the hot dogs, bring them to him. This furnace will remove and it will reveal a Igneous soul. The second soul, it, with cat right here, you cannot get it until you complete cat's quest. And get this you can buy 500 emotes after you get that you can use it on this and you can get the soul for the third soul you will want to go up the stairs and do this this is a two-player thing one person is on this side and clicks the buttons the other player tells them where they are the fourth and fifth soul are both in this house when you want to eat through the cake the first soul is just sitting right there. Right there, you can get the soul. The second soul is upstairs, which it may take a bit longer to get to. The soul is right here once you get through all the cakes. The next soul, you want to talk to this guy. If you press sure, he'll put you down here. And then you want to do the parkour. Well, it's not really parkour, it's just like doing this. It's pretty easy. Once you get to the end, this will be right here. And then you can just go back here and it'll spawn you back here. The last soul in this area is in between the cake house and those hot dog contest. You want to put uh, get on the roof, place the larva silk there and like somewhere over there. And you can get this same way we did in the wild woods. That's it for the West Village. Now we're on the Jed Farm. The first soul, you want to start, yeah, it's a flower thing again. Punch that flower. It will go up this tree. To get higher, you go on the jump pad. Click it. Go up here. And you stand on this, which will then bring you over here. Once you punch this, this will appear and you can get the Igni Missile. For the next soul, you will want to water this right here. It will then grow the bean stock. In a second, once you go to the safe zone right here. And then you just continue doing that. If you go up here, there will be more of them and you water them. You continue going up until you reach the top where this, the igneous soul is. The third soul is right here. And you press every single wooden button that you can find. For example, if you press these ones, there's 56 one button. That's eight of them. Another eight right here. That's 16. And there's more in all these houses. It could be on the second floor as well. The last soul in this area, you'll want to get the this thing from, I forget what collection it is, but you can craft this. Which will then you can kill chickens with it, but you can also pop balloons. And then if you pop balloons, pop all of them. The anvil will fall and break the chest open, which it will reveal an ending missile. Right there. Now we're on to the village plaza. The first soul in this area is right here. You want to bring a rabbit to stand right here. It will then reveal the soul. As you can see, I got a rabbit now. I'm pushing it towards here. Once it's there, the soul will reveal. Now the second soul, you want to jump in this portal, which will then bring you here. To get to the other side, you can mine these trees. However, and bridge across like this. However, there is a trick to it, or you can use the aspect of the leech to just get over here. If you only have two, you can do that. If you have three teleports, you can get across here. You just jump there and get across. However, if you only have two, come up here and go on this cloud and wait till you have two teleports again and then teleport across here. Just like that, and now you're across. Get the soul right here and then go back to the portal. The third soul is right here. There should be an NPC right here if you haven't already done, done it. Which then you can click and he'll talk to you a bit and then he'll offer you, he'll offer to sell you an ending of soul. 
which then you'll say yes to, which is about 15,000 votes or something. The next soul, you want to follow the ghost, which I honestly forget where he spawns. I think it's somewhere over there, but you could probably see him. And once you follow him, he'll lead you up here, which in the once you get the last, once you get in the last area, you can, the soul will be right here. The one after that, the fifth soul, if you just jump off the roof right there and come over here, pop the balloons again. Once all the balloons are gone, just like that, the end will fall again and get reveal the soul. For the sixth soul, you wanna get next to the tailor shop. I'm in here. You'll wanna sit with this guy for about three minutes, three to four minutes. You sit in the seat. And then you just go and then you sit in the seat. And then you sit here for three minutes. It's annoying because you can't sit at the same table all the time because he will move to your table. And tell you to move. For the second to last soul, you'll want to use larva silk again. Connect to that tree, I think. Come over here. And just go across and get the thing. You can also connect to these roofs. For the next soul, you need to talk to this guy and claim your horse azuka. Horsezuka. And then you just want to shoot all the wheat until you get to the end. Once you get to the end, the soul is right here in this little area here. You can click it and you can claim it. That is that was the last soul in the village plaza. Now we're in the living cave. For the next souls, you will want to come over here and find this dandelion and follow it until you get to the this part over here. Once you're here, it will have you uh, click all the aliens until it says say hi once i click the dandelions dandelions it says say hi now which you type hi in the chat and it will give you the lightning of a soul for the second soul in here you will want to just come to this wall up here which is the entrance right there you come this way and you break into this wall with the horsezuka and the soul should be right here now, for the Colosseum soul, there's only one in here, which if you teleport to the eye right here, you go behind the eye. There should be a teleport, or a jump pad right here, which you can jump up here. You talk the small guy. And then he'll give you a quest. Which then you will want to jump around this, you'll have jump boost. You just jump on all the green stuff. You keep going, and you go around the entire way. Once you do the last jump right here, the ending missile will open up and you can claim it. Now we're on the skill gore. So the first soul, you want to come to the back of the castle like this. You just come right over here. You fall down here, into this little thing right here. And the first soul just standing there for the second soul in this area you wanna there's the entrance right here go up these stairs and go up these stairs again right there it should be floating right there use larva silk like right here right there to right here and then you can get this all you want to follow the ghost again the ghost i already completed it so in the last spot for the ghost is right here i don't know where the ghost starts but you will probably find him probably gonna be pretty easy he might start on the staircase right there but i'm not sure that's where the last hole is the third one for the fourth soul it's not a dandelion thing you click the dandelion so you follow them i can actually aim do some parkour now. Make sure you jump before you hit the lane in case you glitch through it by accident. Make sure in the middle of it as well. This parkour is extremely difficult. This is the most, this is the hardest igniting soul to get, in my opinion. However, once you complete it, 
soul will appear right here. And you can claim it. And then just go on teleport pad to get out of there. You pop the balloons. And the end will fall and reveal an ending muscle. The next soul is right here. Talk to this fairy. He will sell you the soul for 10,000 motes and 32 splatter cruxes. And that is the last soul. That is all 42 souls. I hope this guide helped. The waypoints will be linked in the description. Uh, the same way you import them the same way as the Mirrorverse waypoints. I will also have instructions in the description how to, uh, on how to import them. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye now. Thanks for watching.